Hello, this is a two handicap game played with reverse Komi, uh, where black won by 15 and a half, so quite comfortable. Uh, despite the fact that black lost a bunch of stones on the bottom side towards the end, this felt like a complete victory for black all along. So let's check it out. So we see the sun sun put pressure, but here white went down. Why should always go up with a nobi or one space jump? The descent just feels too good for black locally. <clears throat> Honey in the head of two stones, then remove the vital point. And here even if white plays uh, Kema, which serves for the same reason, uh, same uh, defense against the push and cut. Uh, so the cut doesn't work anymore because white can uh, leather. It's still terrible for white being over concentrated. So it's the same thing playing G17 or H17. The result locally is still quite nice for black. <clears throat> now black plays the lower right Kakari, uh, which is common to remove or prevent the Shimari. Then white goes for a loose pincer. Now against this loose pincer, black usually considers a move to put pressure at Q5 like this and push along, then counter pincer. This is the first choice to consider. If black wants to fix or settle a, a base in the corner, there's the one space jump at N3 and then slide R2. This is another common way to fix a base. Also, <coughs> black can consider the sun sun attach and then key point at Q4, then descent. Now, when this Joseki is played, uh, black has Mi between N3 and S2. Therefore, when black plays away, when white approaches N3, just turn in the corner to fix the uh, group. Or if white removes S2, then extend for a base at entry. So either way, the group is nice and safe. <clears throat> this kind of Kosumi, it's more common against a tighter pincer like M4 or M3. Usually at M4, uh, this Kosumi was pretty much like the second move to consider after looking at the one space jump. Because usually white will just schema, black slides, white extends. So both white and black settle a base very easy corner. So when uh, black plays the Kosumi here, white also play the Kosumi Tsuke in order to keep black outside the corner. But black has a nice follow up, Hane, Atari and extend. This is very good. And here normally white was supposed to jump to get ahead. And then of course black should pincer. <clears throat> when white pushes along, black should no be again. It's good to expand here uh, and to, to get ahead because if white plays away it's very big to cover to turn play the Mangari so white would still jump out and then this exchange is excellent prevents the Hane and then continue with the counter pincer <clears throat> well the pincer can be h3 as well but playing a move like j3 puts more pressure on white so no b first then j3 when white comes out you can jump along. White needs to jump again, and black can play came up very nice to fix his uh, weaker group. But in the meantime, playing j3, j5, black will build more on the bottom side compared to h3, h5. And also keeps more pressure on uh, the tiny uh, l3 stone. So white jumps, <coughs> black tries to attack, but it still allows the Hane at q6. So it's still better to get ahead here. And then if white jumps, black turns. If white jumps out here, black can think about the cap move. Because black is strong enough to fight in this direction. <clears throat> so Kema. Obvious, uh, white has to jump out to stay ahead. And black jumps along, but it's already kind of one step behind of this group. So here, it's still important to play the Nobi instead of allowing the Hane. Okay, then white plays the Han and double Hane. Atari once it's okay. Atari again can be dangerous. White will double Atari and take two stones. I mean, he could have. Even though uh, black makes some ponukis, when uh, white captures the two stones, there's a little bit of instability on the bottom side. So when black connects, white can still jump on the right. And those ponukis are not going to worth 30 points each. They are more like two points. Actually, 2 plus 2, because there were some stones captured there too. 
So white went out and then black protects against the double Atari. Normally black should play a double up to prevent the double Atari in the first place and when white captures the stone black would just go out. This would be the proper way. Now white shouldn't turn like this because he's going to hurt his uh, bottom stones. Just jump out again. When black goes out between the groups uh, white can invade the left side. <coughs> this way black separates very good. And now the bottom stones are still pretty much in danger. When white plays the jump, black should no be because it threatens a push and cut. So here white either will double up like this or a kosumi to prevent the cut. Then black can play a peep and surround the bottom group. This will be very uh, dangerous and painful for white. Now if white runs out with the bottom stones with another jump, black will push and cut. Here if uh, white simply takes the stone in the net, black goes down in center and builds a lot on the right side. <clears throat> now if white wants to resist a little bit with Atari and then defend, black still gets lots of forcey moves in center and then comes back to attack the, the other heavy group. So either way is good for black. R13 it's also big, doesn't uh, make uh, white too big on the right side, actually it reduces a lot of the potential. So white still wants to build that area, then black goes for a big point too. Well so far so good. Now sun sun evasion, that's okay. Now here black can think about several moves, it can be f3, uh, black can also go down or Hana in the corner. It's obvious that white is going to build uh, two eyes on the in the corner, but like this, white's wall, uh, sorry, black's wall, it's much stronger on the left side. <clears throat> also, a move like f3, it's a fine option. So Hane block connect, then tiger mount, and white will leave with this kind of move. It's similar to the game, it's just that the exchange at e3 and f2, it's not played, so black can just play away now. This way, black ended up center instead of Gote. So Hane in the head of two stones, then Nobi, white pushed again, block, okay. So here if black goes down, <coughs> white will push once, black needs to protect and white has to go back. Uh, black can go down before. Now this is similar to the most common Soseki with the Sun Sun invasion. So Hane, block, connect and connect, but the connection should be hanging. Uh, the hanging connection is played for two reasons. One, it narrows the gap between C6 and C10, so it's much tougher for white to invade here because there is no space to live inside. And it's also important for the end game. When white plays Hane, A5, black will block, white connects and black doesn't need to protect again. He's already protected. But when black plays a solid connection, which first of all gives an empty triangle here, so it doesn't look so nice, uh, there is more space between C5 and C10, so at some point white can just reduce like this for example. Also for uh, the Yose, when uh, white plays Hane, black blocks, white connects, black still needs a move to protect. Well it will be B6 or B7, it can also be C6 just for the sake of example to see why C5 it's a waste, so it's an extra move inside there. Therefore always defend with a tiger mount. That's how you finish the Joseki. And there is no problem if uh, white cuts here. Black can play Atari, connect and still surround those guys. Or black can play Atari here, then no Stesuji. And the stones will be captured anyway. Even if white plays all these bunch of Ataris, the, the stones are net. No way out. So black shouldn't be afraid of the cutting point. Probably that's why black played a solid move, but it's the same thing. So Atari then knows the Suji in order to capture. Now white played the move at D1 to stay alive in the corner, but the corner was alive. At 4Q level, they should already know the life and death or the status of this group. So it's a pity white is losing a move here. When black Hane F1, now white can play D1 or D2 in order to stay alive. 
there is nothing to disturb the life of this corner <clears throat> these are the twice one in the corner at uh, a2 and b1 so white could play away white lost uh, an important tempo defending a group that's already alive so black got the big point now usually for black it's good to play p17 in conjunction with r13 because when playing kema which tries to build more in the corner white can still jump in at r16 or s15 and eventually black will build less uh, white played a good move here to reduce the left side so for black actually it's quite big to play some jump around here push white out then attach to keep the group separated white will jump again <clears throat> uh, lean a little bit on the stones on the right and then extend in the top because this extension in the top is looking directly to attack the, the dragon and also build so when white plays more moves to fix his center then black can play the Kosumi to reinforce the corner. So white uh, tries to reduce the left side a little bit. And he managed. But not much. And now he still needs to go out. One sphere jump would be safer here. Okay, the peep. This group is safe enough. <clears throat> now it's even safer reinforces the eye shape that extension is good so right now black is looking really good and no uh, weak groups around here black can actually bump even if white plays the wedge uh, white is losing liberties and with the hanging connection now there is no more sun sun invasion for white also black can play the wedge to get stronger and create cutting points now when white protects black can also protect on the right side and again, there is no Sun Sun invasion in the top. <clears throat> well, nothing wrong with P17, but it's good to consider the bump and the wedge. So that's a calm defense. Uh, this one, it's a bit too much. Normally just Kosumi. So when white pushes, black has a nice tiger mount defense. Because with this move, white can peep. And when black connects, white goes down. And if black connects under, white will push through. And then P13 is lost. <clears throat> mm, this was wrong white can uh, peep right away so black can connect now white still doesn't cut those stones white can turn with an empty triangle then push then cut so this is the way to punish the p13 jump this way black connected and he got away unpunished and white pulls back in gote his turn is not the biggest move right now so there are ways to come in the center from this attach or uh, Kema from the left. But in the top, black can play J17. Then white has to come out. And now black can come inside at K14. So it's really difficult for white to build too much in this area because it's uh, open from several directions. So the turn just uh, makes uh, black get into the center with baby steps uh, but it's connected for example here black can play the kema if white pushes and cuts nothing happens the leather is good for black so the cut doesn't work therefore it's safe for black to get inside even uh, further so the uh, cap okay <clears throat> extend the left side uh, so in order to expand the left side Black can play Kema, which threatens the group in the top, White needs to extend for a base, and then another Kema from this direction in order to enclose the box at a larger scale. <clears throat> That's fine. So Black still got to build all the left side. Actually here, the bump is better. The cuts are not a problem. If Atari here, Black connects, if White wants to go out, Black will surround. The other attack it's also not a problem black just connects but once black plays the bump white has to extend here otherwise uh, black has atari catch three stones or one stone so there's a follow-up not just block to defend but block to enter inside white's territory so this will be an active defense white will also protect 
and then black can attack the top <coughs> or play other moves to reduce the center so block connect um it's bigger to attack from the top side j17 or h18 in order to put pressure on the top group now black needs uh, sorry white needs to come out like this because on the left uh white it's already blocked by c17 as an end game d18 is good but playing j17 to put more pressure on the group it's even better let's just imagine white leaves like this it's still very painful only a few eyes so black has to profit both in the top right and the top left like this white is supposed to extend towards the right to make a base or to keep his base this is good the push is not necessary here black can play the clamp and then atari and leave it like this and now play away now the bump white goes down and for black it's very big to block at s12 because after this there's hane at t11 in center which is hard to block white has to no b then atari then connect if black doesn't play it white can slide at t13 yeah this puts a lot of pressure on the group very good no way to cut it uh, instead of playing this move black can play something on the bottom to make the eye shape in a more profitable way so when this happens more points for uh, black on the bottom side so block push inside then this okay uh this move is rather small this is fine one point block also small so white can always play here this k in center then peep trying to catch those stones in the middle but white is losing big anyway nothing to do to come back so this Hane actually hurts the stones in the center it's better to block S12 if white goes down no problem because the group on the bottom is alive anyway continue in center destroy a few more points then play J2 so there is no way to, to lose those stones all connected now black wins by over 20 points <clears throat> here black doesn't have to go down the proper way to protect its m2 if uh, black goes down later white can still play k1 and black needs to play m2 only in some certain positions uh, where you need more eye space is good to go down at l1 or when it saves a, a point so here uh, black can block like this give up the two stones and then cut the bottom stone this is a better deal compared to trying to save those guys and just lose more when this happens and uh, white turns black can also go up and the two stones are very small compared to the capture at k2 i mean in the end the capture in the middle it's only two four five points like this it became very big because of the atari from the inside so black should push here give up the four stones and cut the one stone as compensation if uh, white connects black will leave so this was more minus okay oh here always block with atari every time black plays an atari like this he should wonder what happens if white cuts and in this case black will capture the stone then if atari here black connects so white will just lose the stone inside therefore um atari connect and then connect like this black is saving the two points here so push atari connect connect now black lost two more points instead of blocking at a6 b6 black blocked at a7 b7 so those two points could have been saved now this monkey jump is got there. playing the kema a t13 would be sent there. Good defense 
This is big. This is fine too. And nothing else to be built on this board. <clears throat> And that was it. So if Black doesn't lose these guys in the middle, it's going to be a, a win by over 20 points. Also, there were few uh, options to take Sente instead of Gote, but overall, it was a very solid win by Black. Well done, and keep it up.